Welcome to the eFresh.com Coffee News. My name is Milen and these are this week's headlines. Vietnam exports face dropping prices. Coffee Republic appoints administrators. ICO revises world coffee output. Nestle to increase Indonesian purchase. Starbucks supports Rondon farmers. Vietnam's coffee export has been affected by dropping prices over the past six months, which brought the export value down by 12% year-on-year, despite an increase in volume. In the first half of the year, the country exported 741,000 tons of coffee, a year-on-year increase of 23% for only 1.1 billion US dollars. The current coffee prices are cheaper by an average 500 US dollar per ton compared to one year ago, despite a short-lived increase in early June. The Vietnam Coffee and Cacao Association has advised enterprises to keep close watch of the market and share information with each other to minimize risk in signing export contracts. The association also recommended that businesses invest more in processing to export processed products instead of raw coffee. British coffee retailer Coffee Republic has placed its principal operating subsidiary into administration, placing 20 outlets under threat. Another 167 franchises and concessions will not be affected, administrator KPMG said. The administrators are assessing the viability of individual outlets and expect to close the loss-making outlets with inevitable job losses, according to KPMG. Coffee Republic employs 153 staff, including 127 at its 20 group-owned coffee bars, with the remainder at its headquarters. The holding company, Coffee Republic, is not administration, KPMG said. KPMG has also been appointed administrator to Coffee Republic Franchising Limited and Good Bean Limited. Earlier, the company asked for its shares to be suspended from trading. World coffee production in 2008-2009 is expected to be 128.8 million 60 kg bags, up from the previous estimate of 126.1 million bags, the International Coffee Organization said. The revision is largely pinned on an increase in Indonesia's coffee crop, now at 8.6 million bags. The revised global figure represents 9.1% rise compares, compared to last year's crop. For the crop season 2009-2010, information received from the Brazilian authorities indicate an estimated total production of 39.1 million bags, comprising 28.3 million bags of Arabica and 10.8 million bags of Robusta. However, the ICO said it would wait for the figures to be confirmed before providing an estimate of total production for all exporting countries. Nestle Global will increase its purchase of Indonesian coffee beans to feed its coffee processing factories. This year, Nestle will spend 612.2 billion rupees on coffee beans from Indonesia, up from 440 billion rupees last year. Last year, PT Nestle Indonesia, its local unit, bought 40,000 tons of Robusta coffee beans, including 15,000 tons worth 165 billion rupees for its factory in Lampung, southern Sumatra. Nestle also plans to buy Arabica coffee beans starting with 500 tons per year, valued at 7.2 billion rupees. The Arabica, the Arabica coffee will be bought directly from farmers with price of 85% of the prevailing market price in New York, company president Peter Vogt said. Starbucks, a U.S. coffee company, opened its first farmer's support center in Africa last week. This center will support Rwanda and other countries in Africa for the sole purpose of helping farmers produce high-quality coffee. Starbucks has a similar center in Costa Rica and it has announced in 2007 that it would open one in Rwanda and Ethiopia in 2008. 
The centre will particularly work with East African coffee communities to help them continue to improve their coffee quality and to increase the number of suppliers producing coffee imported by Starbucks. The service will be offered freely. Star Starbucks agronomists and quality experts attached to the centre will work directly with farmers to develop and use more responsible methods to grow better coffee and help improve the quality and size of the harvest to attract better prices. Thank you for watching the eFresh.com Coffee News. See you next time.